Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, Monday through Thursday. This is the Full Moon Energy Readings. Now, you know that when I am doing Monday through Thursday readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks, my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, my I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, whatever the message is for whoever is out there. It just gets delivered, and it's best when I don't try to make sense of what it's all about. Now, my camera is working again, so, you know, basically hubby went and looked at it, went, you know, and said, oh, it's wor it works, so I just tried poking it into different ports, and I did find one where it is now working. Okay, the 26th at 11.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the full moon, and that will be in Scorpio. This full moon, it's one of the super moons, meaning it's very close to the earth, or at least it appears to be close to the earth. It looks to, it appears to be larger. Um, it's also, you know, Scorpio full moon, you know, especially in Taurus. Taurus is something that's very tactile, very earthbound, but Scorpio is fluid, emotional, and has a lot, a lot of secrets. But, you know, Scorpio full moons are about, you know, to me, I have always felt that they are secrets revealed. And it's the time when secrets come out. Things maybe people don't want to necessarily acknowledge. I don't know. Um, or it's those things that you've been waiting for to be revealed. But anyway, I think it's very positive. I think that, when, you know, when you're eyes are opened, I think that you can then deal with your life much better. Sometimes it hurts. Believe me, sometimes it hurts. But I do feel that this is going to be very eye-opening type of energy. Okay? Um, remember, this is that time when you release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request for the good stuff. You can kind of do that a couple of days before. I like to do it the day before, the day of, so the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th are really good energy days to do that. And like I'm you know, saying, I'm not worshiping the moon. I look at it as a divine creation, but the moon does affect everything and everybody on the earth. It's also full moons do have a time when they are also, you know, people's emotions are heightened. Um, so just be aware of that, especially if you are a water sign. Um, it's also a time when, again, I'm really feeling revelations coming, especially with this full moon. And it could be, yes, I'm going to say it again, that Saturn in Aquarius. Anyway, let's go ahead with our readings. Hello, my Scorpios, and welcome to the full moon week. And this is your full moon. So... Just be aware that uh, full moons do bring enhanced psychic ability. So, you know, this is your full moon. So you might have that, um, have a higher awareness. So let's go on and see, again, release, relinquish, and request. Let's see what we have for my Scorpios this week. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards face down. All of them are reversed, so a little stronger energy. So let's see what we have here. First card is justice, justice. So eights have unlimited opportunity, infinity, justice. I'm not saying that this is a court, you know, or a, um, you know, a legal issue. I'm not a lawyer with this. This could be very much karmic justice. You know, what you put out, you do receive back. So there, there's something to do with, um, I don't know, if, I mean, it could be something to do with court decisions. It could be something to do with karmic decisions. There is something to do this week with a justice type of energy for you. Now, again, I am not a lawyer. So let's see what we have here. This is about, this is Archangel Raguel. 
Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. Your next card here is the Knight of Raphael. Knight's underlying energy is Leo, Sagittarius. It is also Aries. It is fire energy. Passionate, burning, determined. Raphael is your energy. Your energy that, um, you know, water energy, pa um, emotional. It's very flowing. It's also Pisces and it's also Cancer energy. This is a com this is an emotional commitment. This is a going towards something, going for something. This is about um, being swept off your feet. This you know there could be this other person. This could be anything to do with your relationships, your work, job, career, your family, your home, your intimate, interpersonal, or personal type of relationships. But this is going for the gold. This is going for something deeply emotionally you are connected with. Here we are. This is romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So let's see what this last card is. The High Priestess. So I told you also that this is going to be an extremely psychic time. Twos have crossroads. Twos have decision making. Twos have, do I go this way? Do I go that way? There is a lot of psychic intuition with this. There's also, during this full moon, there's going to be high emotional energy with this too. But the high priestess, so now we have Raguel, we also have Heniel. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Now, let's go on with our next cards. Here we are. Let's go on. Here we are. We're going to cut one last card. This is reversed also. The King of Earth. Now, this is, oh, can you see that? The King of Earth. Earth energy is our Taurus. It is also our Virgo. It is also our Capricorn. It is very strong, ta um, you know, very tactile type of energy. Something you can hold. Something, something, someone you can hold. Kings are the underlying energy. Is our is air energy. It is our Gemini, Libra. It is also our. Aquarian energy, hearing news, it's strategic planning. This is very much a high professional time for you. This is one of those times that's very successful in the money aspect. So, this is generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. So, I mean, to me, this is something that there's, this is going to be a very important big week for you. Use your um, full moon with that. Opportunities are there. And, you know, it looks like it's actually going to be an extremely successful time. So use it. Claim it. Okay. Let's see what crystal or energy will be useful for my Scorpios. Here we go. Titanium Rainbow Quartz. You get this a lot, I think, if I remember correctly. This is about awakening all chakras, ultimate manifestation, vibrancy. It's also about a powerful shift. So, my Scorpios, big energy for you. Make use of it. Full moon in your sign. As, now, remember, my Scorpios, please remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for future notification. I try to post like on Tuesdays and Fridays. I've been a little off this last week, but we'll get back to that. As always, and more importantly for you, my Scorpios, please know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.